Hello people and welcome back to the RDF Tactics YouTube channel and Happy New Year. Today's video is all about how to sign hidden gems or wonder kids on a free transfer. In your game it's going to take for you to get to a certain date which is the 30th or the 31st of December for you to approach to sign these players but there's always going to be a hidden gem or wonder kid in the list for you guys to sign. In my save I've signed about I don't know 15 or 10 free transfers just in one season just in one window i've just signed a whole load of youngsters thrown them into the under 21s the under 21s are currently on a 20 game winning streak they've played 20 they've won 20 it's absolute mayhem but what we're going to do now is go into football manager have a look but before we do make sure you are subscribed Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, share it. All of that's gonna help the algorithm, it's gonna help the channel, it's gonna help the video. And the more people that watch this video, then the more people that we help. So, enough of the intro, let's get into the video. Oh, there's a little rhyme there. So yeah, yesterday I posted a tweet on how to sign players on a free, specifically hidden gems or wonder kids, and the tweet absolutely blew up. I had no idea a lot of people wanted help in this area, but I also had no idea a lot of people didn't know about this. This used to be a method that I used to use on FM11, FM12, 13. It used to be one of those things in your save that you had to do on the 31st of December. And it looks like it kind of lost its way. But this year, I find that there are a lot of hidden gems on Wonder Kids for you to sign. Necessarily, it wasn't like that before. I used to use this method to sign first team players in FM22. It's easy, very easy to find yourself a hidden gem or a Wonder Kid. In the lower leagues, if you can snap up some of these players, or not even just the lower leagues, depending on what league you are, if you can snap up some of these players, then they are total wonder kids to you they're gonna be fantastic players but as you can see recently we used this method in my last window i can't even be bothered to count but all of these players were free transfers all of these players are snapped up on approach to sign where we didn't even have to pay a compensation fee we paid what a signing on fee that's about it well we spent 52k on this guy and we spent 41k on this guy it's not really going to hurt my pockets as well. Well, it's going to hurt my pockets. It's not going to hurt Genk's pockets. <laughs> but you can see that my recruitment process has changed over the years. Whereas before, it was just all about getting cheap transfers. As you can see, we spent 16 million in the second season. The third was 34 million. The fourth, 34 million again. And now the fifth is 18 million. Well, I had to sign a striker, Eduardo Vinicius. I mean, who is not going to snap up this guy? for 12 million pound but here we signed a lot of players and majority of them well all but two of them were free transfers so we can have a look at joel rusin i am going to butcher a lot of these pronunciations i'm going to butcher a lot of these names but as you can look his attributes he looks like a very very decent player his anticipation his decision making composure all on 13 he's got decent off the ball movement decent passing decent first touch i mean he looks like he could be a decent full snag he can dribble he can pass he is a decent player and he's only 19 we got him on a free transfer he's out on loan currently to Denise where he's played 13 games he's got three goals he's playing decent enough to come back and develop even more another player that I wanted to show you Kevin Wallace we signed him from South End out of all teams yes South End who were in League 2 so he came from League 2 and he's already playing in the top flight so we signed him we then loaned him out to Ustende Ustend Ustende where he's played 12 games, he scored two goals, three assists, two man of the match awards, an average rating of 7.18. This is in the top league, the league that I'm currently playing in. And I've sent him out to develop. And as you can see from his attributes, he's a fairly decent player. Acceleration, agility, balance, pace, all there. Off the ball movement, flair, all there. Dribbling can be a little bit better, but his first touch is there. His vision is there. He's going to be a decent player even if not for me, for somebody else where we can sell him. His value at the moment is £7 million and we got him on a free transfer. Same as Joel Rusin, his value at the moment is £5.6 million, we got him on a free transfer. Another one, Daryl Evans, his value now is at £6.8 million but you would never have guessed where we got him from. We signed him from Forest Green, a team in League One again. We signed him on a free transfer, so he's made a jump from League One all the way to the top flight in Belgium, where he's now playing regular football. He's played 18 games for Mechelen. He hasn't scored, no assists, no man of the match awards, an average rating of 6. Point 
where is it 6.58 which is decent for a defensive midfielder or a center back i'm not exactly sure where he's playing if we check so yeah he's playing center back so we can kind of see why he's not getting the best ratings i mean his jumping reach is on 11 his headings on nine so aerially he's not very dominant at all here as well alan peterson a very very versatile player now we can develop him and just use him as a squad member he can play left back i know this because his left foot is fairly strong he can play right back i know this because he likes to play on the right hand side or he can just play on the flanks it doesn't matter he's fairly attacking he likes to get further forward and we can improve in that area so off the ball movement decision making anticipation basically attacking movement is what we're going to put him on and hopefully he can develop into a fairly decent wide player for us where he can play on the left he can play on the right and he could be a squad player or we can sell him his value at the moment is 11 million pounds so you have an idea of where we're going with this but how is this done is very very easy we just go to scouting we go to player search we go to edit search well my search is already going to be there but we can see with the age i've got it on max 19 contract status expiry in six months that is important this of course allows you to approach to sign once you hit the 30th or the 31st of december it might even be the 29th i can't exactly remember but when you get to the end of December, this is where you can just snap up players on the free. It's basically a pre-contract where then in July, when the window opens, these players will be arriving at my club on a free transfer. So attacking midfielder, maximum age of 19. And as you can see, we have some players on our list. Now, what I usually do is just kind of just go through all of these players. I usually just go down the list and just hover over them. But this is just attacking midfielders. Of course, a lot of the times I do attributes as well. So I don't necessarily do positions. I will go for something like anticipation or acceleration. My tactic is very gag and press or is very press and heavy. First of all, they need to be able to maneuver, hence the acceleration, but they also need to be able to read the game, hence the anticipation. So I will set both of them on 12, which is a respectable number in this league. And as you can see, I've already done this search and I've picked out a few players that I've already approached the sign, but I've also scouted some because I'm obviously not completely sure or completely sold on the players so we can have a look at Hamada Allah someone that's played 100 games already for pyramids in Egypt and just look at his attributes he's a very very good center back and he's only 19 his transfer value is 6.4 million but we've approached to sign him on a free transfer he's played 19 games he scored five goals an average rating of 7.26 he's got very good jump and reach bravery head and very good for an aerial dominant center back aggression maybe he can improve in that area but it doesn't matter he's very good he's gonna come in to gank and he's probably gonna slot into the not the first team not the main 11 but he's gonna be in and around the first team squad getting a couple games here and there and he should be able to develop into a decent player he's already played 14 times for egypt and we're getting a 19 year old on a free transfer absolute crazy Hey, Jim Maguire from Linfield. Now, you would never think to sign someone from the Northern Irish Premier League, but here we have Jim Maguire coming in on a free transfer. Again, versatile player, someone that can come in and do multiple jobs. He's got decent anticipation. He's aggressive enough to put a foot in. He's got decent decision making, determination, leadership, teamwork. He looks like a decent squad player, someone that you want around your squad. And we can develop his attributes as well, make him more of a polished player. I mean, we can scout the player as well, but I've just approached the sign because I'm liking what I'm seeing. Here we have Robin from Young Boys as well, a central defender who I would retrain into a defensive midfielder. I play with an anchor man, so he could be a perfect anchor man with decent tackling, decent positioning, strength, balance, anticipation. Again, he can read the game. So not only is he positioning himself in the right places, but he can also read the game. And that is very good trait for a defensive midfielder. Pedro Betancourt, similar. He's naturally a centre back, but we can retrain him to be a full back. Now it says to be a left back, but I mean, his left foot is weak, so we can retrain him to be a right back. And again, he could be a squad player or he might develop into someone very, very good. I don't necessarily always read into the scouts potential ability rating. I'm someone that just prefers attributes. If they have the attributes that I'm looking for and if they have the personality. So he's a bit temperamental, but he's 19. That personality can always change. He's got the determination, so I know. So I know there's room for him to change his personality, especially if I put him in a mentoring group as well. But as long as he has the attributes in the right place, then I'm more likely to go for it. And I know that I can develop one or two attributes as well to make that player more of a player suited for my tactic. If he doesn't, I can always sell again for profit. Now, 
if you have attribute masking things are going to be of course a little bit different and there's a trick for that so follow the same method do this or necessarily you don't even have to do um attributes you could just do position so let's say i'm looking for i don't know a striker and then what you can do is right click this little bar up top insert column go to general media description now some people don't really like using this they see it as a cheat i don't really use it because i just like looking at the players i like doing the scouting but if you've got masked attributes things are a lot different whereas you have to actually wait days for a scout report and what you can do is just look for the promising players so here we have three promising strikers we have daniel rada someone that i'm scouting as well actually funny enough and look he's 18 years of age and what we can do is approach to sign him his potential ability is not all there which is why i'm scouting him or which is why i did scout him and again he doesn't have to develop into a world beater he just has to develop into someone good enough for us to make a profit or for him to be a squad player eventually a first team player it can work out any way you can either make profit he could be a squad player or you could be a first team player you aren't really losing out on much because it's a free transfer <laughs> so daniel rada you can find Agu, you can find and this is just using the media description jonathan bayer as well it says he's promising he's 18 you might want to do a scout report or you might just want to skip him altogether it's all up to you another one as well and maybe this is just me i don't know so maybe if we go down to the age a little so we go to age 18 rather than 19 when they have a media description of just striker or just midfielder I find that they're actually very decent players. So if we look at Philip Noel, again, he's a decent player. He's only 18 and, he's me and his media description is just striker. It's like the media almost haven't quite made up their minds yet on what type of player he is. But it just says striker and usually when it just says striker, they're very, very good players. Look, we have Phil Gustin here. Again, a decent, decent player. High flair, high determination. I mean, he's got good dribbling, good flair, good balance. He's going to be very, very good on the ball very good maybe he's lacking the acceleration maybe he's lacking the pace but he can develop into a very good player and once you're 18 your physical attributes are going to develop naturally anyway and look i've just done the same for fullbacks so i've just looked at left backs maybe we could look at right backs as well so i've added right backs so we've got left backs and right backs here's one from wolfsburg it just says fullback again fairly decent he's only 18 he's capped at the german under 19s level so he can be a very very decent player again remember i'm in the belgium league as well so so some of these players are just going to develop to be good enough in the belgium league alex bulanov yeah he's not my favorite he's not my favorite but here we have patrick owona and well decent player here but here for the promising fullbacks we have bruno i'm not even going to try and pronounce your surname oh very decent he's only 18 he's belgium that's just gonna fit right into our squad and he could become a homegrown player or we can sign henry apoku i mean we are going to sign henry apoku he looks fairly decent and this is literally just what i do i just look at these players attributes i think yeah he's good enough uh, maybe he's not and i just sign them it's a gamble it's a risk but how much are you actually risking not a lot some of these players are just going to go into the under 21s or they're going to go out on loan where they can develop they are going to be good for someone else so we can always always make a profit i mean 100k that's a profit 5 million that's a profit 20 million that's a huge profit it doesn't really matter the future of gank doing this way the future of the team is always always going to look very very healthy but that is it that is literally the scouting method that's my trick again it's not my trick we used to do it all the time in the previous football managers but we used to do it more with the first team players rather than the youngsters the youngster thing is kind of new to me so maybe it is a secret god knows but i'll speak to you guys soon i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i hope you guys took some information and i hope you guys will implement this into your saves it's fun it makes your save fun i'm five years now into gank i probably would have never went into five years without adding this method into the game i hope you guys have enjoyed it i will speak to you soon if you are new or you haven't yet make sure you are subscribed make sure you like the video make sure you leave a comment again helping the algorithm will help the video helping the video you're helping other people that will be watching this video so i'll speak to you guys soon stay safe shout out to my patreons and goodbye no idea why i decided to dance but i just felt it <laughs> good night good night goodbye i'm having a you know what goodbye people goodbye goodbye goodbye